action. Okay. Hello everyone, today we are going to uh, interview with uh, Betty. Uh, like she is our uh, reading teacher and we are going to interview for the uh, listening and speaking uh, class. So the first question is, um, can we start, are you ready? Sure. No, okay. uh, the first question is, um, how long have you been working here? I have been here since January of 2006, so that's five years. Five years, mm -hmm. okay. Um, so do you like uh, working here? Very much. I enjoy the people I work with, and I enjoy the students very much. And I like the flex, the changing schedule. That okay. It's not always the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, before you came here, uh, how many jobs have you worked in? Oh, many. Um, because I was a military wife, we moved around, and I've worked in many different areas in Hawaii, in Korea, in Germany. Um, in military. Uh, not in the military, but in teaching oh. in American schools in those places. Uh, I also taught in Texas a couple of times uh, before I had children. After I had children, I took off for a while, and then I came back. And actually didn't get my master's until 2004. Cool. Okay. How many children do you have? I have two children. I have a son who is 33, who is in the military and is currently serving in Afghanistan. And I have a daughter who is 28, I think, somewhere <laughs> there. And uh, she and her husband will make me a grandparent this summer, yeah. so I'm very excited was, about I was, that. I, I, I mm -hmm. was going to ask you if you have the grandchildren. Not yet, but working on it. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very excited. Okay, good. Um, uh, next question is, what's your favorite drink or food? <laughs> All of it. <laughs> <laughs> I am a very adventuresome eater, and I like to try foods from all over the world and have tried a lot of them. They do have to be still on the plate. They cannot be still moving on the plate. I yeah, had that experience <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> but I like a lot of different kinds of food. I like a lot of vegetables, uh, and I drink a lot of Diet Coke. Oh. Healthy life? Mm -hmm. Not always. <laughs> no, the, the, you mean you like uh, uh, vegetables? Yes, yes. You mean you, mean you don't like uh, seafood? Uh, oh, I some, love seafood. I some kind of seafood that's still... Uh, still moving. Yeah, still moving. Yeah, I think so. And... Uh, how do you spend your free time on Fridays? On Fridays, I like to go out and listen to live music. Uh, quite often, I meet a group of friends at a barbecue place on Fridays, and I have a friend who plays the bluegrass fiddle. It looks like it's a violin, but because it's played a different way, more in a country way, it is called a fiddle. And so it's very happy and jazzy, and uh, we get up and dance and have a good time. Like what they do in Texas? Um, not quite what they do in Texas, but close. Yeah. That's more country western. This is bluegrass. It's more like in the mountains. Uh, but they're similar. they're similar. So are you in the military still? No. 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 My son is, but my husband is no longer in the military. Uh, which countries have you been to? Ooh. Korea, uh, Mexico. Many of them. I lived in Korea for three years and had a chance to travel over there a great deal. Uh, I went to Japan and uh, Thailand and China, Australia. Um, I think that's Hawaii. all from there. But it's Hawaii, not a Hawaii is one of the United States. So I also lived there, and then when I lived in Germany, we did a lot of traveling in Europe, in Austria, and France, and Italy, and uh, Switzerland, um, Spain. I think that's all. So I've, I've been fortunate to be able to um, travel a lot, and I want to do a lot more of it. Um, Australia or Australia? Both. But both. No, because Australia is so far away from 
here but, and then of course to my yeah, country. It's still a very Yeah, like two and four hours by flight, right? It's still a long distance from Hawaii. Oh, because uh, I know. Close. Yeah. I know where Hawaii is. Yeah. You know, it's through that. And which one was your favorite? Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> I think Hawaii <laughs> is the best, huh? Well, it's one of the United States, and I have been blessed to be able to live there about a total of seven years. Uh, and then my son was assigned there with the military for about five years. So I've spent a lot of time in Hawaii, and I love it over there. Uh, the only thing I don't like about Hawaii is it's so far away from family here in the mainland, here in the main United States, uh, called the continental United States. So, uh, I still have not been to all the states and would like to do that, too. Um, I'm not through traveling yet. <laughs> I will still do a lot more. Yeah, so we need to. Yeah. Um, Your turn, right? Or I, 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 think, I think this is it. This is all the questions that we have. Okay. And thanks for your time. Fine. Okay, You're so welcome. Yeah, thanks for your attention. Yeah. You're Hello. welcome. <laughs> thanks for your and I'm sorry we didn't get Sala on camera. No, it's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you wanna, um, if, um, if you wanna ask, uh, like some questions. Do you have another question, Sala? Uh, do you like Norfolk? I do like Norfolk. I always thought I would just be here a, a few years and then go back to Texas, but probably at this point I will stay in Norfolk or somewhere else mm. in Virginia, especially with a grandchild coming. <laughs> so. Thank you. Okay, so you thank you. You guys did a good job. Thank okay. You for your time.